This is David Henry Sterry, American soccer fanatic, reporting live from America. Hundreds of millions of humans will soon gather in bars, barns, parks, taverns, caverns, caravans, caves, and bunkers. Some crossing vast deserts just to find a radio so they can listen to a sporting event that's going to be bigger than the Super Bowl, NBA Finals, Stanley Cup, and World Series all rolled into one. It's humanity's biggest pilgrimage, the World Cup. The pot's been simmering for four years, and finally, she's coming to a boil. 204 teams played 837 matches, scoring 2,687 goals, battling it out hammer and tong, tooth and nail, just for the right to be one of the chosen 32 nations who gets the chance to bring home not just the bacon, but the glory. June 11, 2010. Strap it on and strap yourself in, as the mother of all sporting events finally crash lands for the first time in history on the mother of all continents. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Joburg, it's World Cup 2010, South Africa! long marathon disguised as a series of sprints. Let me break it down for you. Wiggy wiggy! Starts with the group stage. 32 nations divided into eight groups, four teams per group. Each team plays three games. Top two teams go through, bottom two teams go home with their tails between their legs. Then it's on to the elimination stage. Win, you live to fight another day. Lose, instant extermination. Argentina has pound for pound the greatest soccer player in the world, Lionel Messi. Granted, he does weigh 104 pounds soaking wet, but still. The man is a modern artist slash dancer slash madman. Problem is, they also have, pound for pound, the craziest coach perhaps in any sport anywhere in the world. And that's a bold statement, given the notorious and well-documented craziness of coaches everywhere. Of course, I'm referring to Diego Maradona, scorer of perhaps the greatest individual Goal in World Cup history. Yes, Argentina will get out of the round by sheer dint of the minuscule magician Lionel Messi. But mark my words, they won't go far. Nigeria is a dangerous beast with that crazy combination of skill and brutality. Driven by the Midfield, Marvel, John, Obi-Wan, Kenobi, Mikel. They're a scary, scary team. And I believe they will make it out of the group. South Korea does have the hardest working man in show business. Manchester United's Energizer Bunny, Park Ji-sung. I like saying that name. Park Ji-sung. But after that, they're woefully thin and painfully undermanned. Sadly, this is not going to be South Korea's decade. Greece has a fantastic team full of hard-working professionals. They won the European Championship not long ago. But as everyone knows, their economy is in the toilet. And therefore, they cannot advance.